Small Thoughts channel. Why small thoughts? Well, small thoughts can lead to big thoughts, or they can help us cope with the big thoughts that might come along, which they often do. At least, that's what I found. So, welcome new puzzle buddies, and welcome old puzzle buddies to my puzzle room. I hope you're able to leave your big thoughts at the door and come join me in some fun puzzle talk. So today I'm going to talk about a puzzle that I did over Valentine's Day and you'll see why in a second. This is from the puzzle company Clementoni. Whoops, upside down. <laughs> it could be fun. <laughs> okay, this puzzle is uh, from Clementoni. Clementoni is an Italian company that started off in the 1960s. They do mostly games and toys. They have uh, they just started an adult line of, of puzzles and it features this artist who I love, Guillermo Mardillo, who's actually from Argentina. So Guillermo Mardillo, and I believe he passed away in the late 90s. He was born in the 30s. And he was very famous for his artwork that he did. Um, he's a cartoonist. So he did a lot of sports artwork and uh, themes around love which leads me to this puzzle. So this puzzle uh, by Mr. Mordillo is called, can you guess? Let's take a look. The Lovers. Isn't that just so sweet? That's why I grabbed it immediately. It caught my eye in the puzzle store because I don't know if you can tell, but the colors of this are just really just popped out. And I was very, very attracted to the gradients in the back. Can you see how it goes to that pale purple, down to the warmer blues, and then down, down, down. So the color and the gradients are beautiful. Um, and I also found the illustration to be charming. This beautiful uh, little scene of a giraffe just, you know, out there minding his business and his friend his partner, the snake, and they're wrapped in a warm, loving embrace. And you can see the little hearts, and they're obviously in love and in paradise. And the snake is certainly looking, if you can see, very smitten. <laughs> I thought that was very, very funny. And it reminded me a couple of, I know, I know where the, the, the snake and the relationships follows the giraffe around with her tongue hanging out all the time looking all starry eyed just like that and that made me laugh so i love doing this over valentine's i didn't want to do like a typical heart thing and i thought this was really cute so um 10 out of 10 for the artist and the illustration absolutely fantastic beautiful 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 they they have some other ones uh uh in that series um clementoni does by the same artist if you're interested in, in seeing that i bought this just for the image sometimes that's enough for me in terms of the puzzle and the puzzle experience, I would say average plus, maybe a little bit more. The puzzle pieces are not random cut, grid cut, but still a little bit, a little bit more different. A nice, a nice decent puzzle fit. Uh, very little puzzle dust in this one. Um, this was a 500. Um, I've mentioned before many times a 500 piece puzzle typically takes uh, most people about two hours. I actually found this did take two hours, about two and a half. It was a fairly fast, easy one, mostly because of the gradients and the color. Um, in terms of the puzzle peak th thickness, not bad. I would say uh, very equivalent to a white mountain, not not a Ravensburger, but not uh, flimsy by any means. Quite by any means, quite a thick, sturdy piece made for a good snap. The overall puzzle experience was very good. If you have not tried uh, this puzzle, I would give it a go, or this puzzle company, I would give it a go. I know they're trying to uh, tap into the adult puzzling market and are trying to, to do some things with some interesting artists and a little bit higher quality uh, puzzle uh, piece design. So have you done a puzzle by Clementoni? Have you done this puzzle? I would love to hear. Please drop me a comment in, uh, in the comment section or email me at lisa at smallthoughts.ca. You can visit my website. Um, I would love to hear about it. If you have a puzzle you'd like me to review or a brand I've never heard of or you think I should know about, oh my goodness, 
please send. Um, again, I love to hear from it. I love to hear from my puzzle buddies. Um, and I'm also going to continue with some of the music at the end of the video. Some of you might not know that uh, my dad does the, the piano arrangements of jazz uh, songs, classical jazz songs, arranges and plays them. So I try and play them at the beginning of the end and this time I'll leave a lot uh, longer at the end if you'd like to stay on and enjoy it. So thank you again for joining me. My name is Lisa and until next time I'm wishing you lots of small thoughts. Thanks for stopping by.